The Pacific Plate, Earth's largest tectonic engine. It never rests, it never stops, grinding, colliding, breaking the planet apart. And beneath the Philippine Sea lies something few have ever heard of. A scar so vast, satellites mistook it for part of the ocean floor. But it isn't. It's the world's largest caldera, silent for millions of years. But silence is not always safety. Could Earth's biggest supervolcano be waiting to reawaken? The Pacific Ring of Fire, a horseshoe of destruction. 75% of the world's volcanoes live here. So do 90% of its earthquakes. If Earth has a danger zone, this is it. And in 2025, the ring reminded us of its fury. On July 30th, a magnitude 8.8 .8 megathrust quake struck off Kamchatka. The ground heaved, the seafloor ripped open, entire villages shook violently for minutes. The ocean responded with a wall of water. Tsunami waves, some five meters tall, raced across the Pacific. Alaska, Japan, Hawaii, all watched as the sea itself became a weapon. And then came the aftershocks of volcanoes in Kamchatka stirred, coughing ash into the skies, as if the quake had rattled them awake. But Kamchatka wasn't alone. Weeks earlier, Alaska had felt a 7.3. New Zealand's South Island jolted with a shallow 6.7. Southeast Asia shivered under back-to-back -back tremors. Even Chile on the other side of the Pacific shook with a 6.6. .6. The message was clear. The Pacific Plate is under strain. Everywhere, all at once. But what if these quakes are just surface echoes of something far bigger, hidden beneath the waves? Enter Apolaki. Deep beneath the Philippine Sea lies a scar 150 kilometers wide. That's nearly twice the size of Yellowstone's caldera, wider than the entire country of Iceland. For decades, scientists overlooked it. It blended into the seafloor, a vast, circular depression that looked ordinary. But in 2019, high-resolution sonar mapping exposed the truth. A perfect circle, a collapsed dome, a volcanic scar unlike anything ever seen before. This wasn't a random basin, it was the skeleton of a supervolcano, the largest caldera Earth has ever revealed. The world named it Apolaki, after a Filipino sun god. But to geologists, it might as well mean the giant lord. And here's the chilling part. If Yellowstone is America's ticking time bomb, Apalaki is Earth's sleeping giant. So how was this monster born? Rock cores drilled from the plateau tell a story written in lava. 47 million years ago, magma surged upward. Not for days, not for years, but for nearly 20 million years straight. Lava poured across the ocean floor, piling layer upon layer, the plateau grew thicker than Mount Everest is tall, an entire mountain range beneath the waves, and then collapse. The chamber beneath emptied in a catastrophic eruption. The weight of the ocean above pushed downward. The seafloor cracked and caved. What remained was Apolaki. Its floor lies nearly five kilometers deep. Its rim rises in scalloped ridges. Its center holds a resurgent dome, proof of later volcanic pulses. It is, by every measure, colossal. But the question that haunts scientists is simple. Is it extinct or only asleep? To answer that, we look at Earth's other titans, Yellowstone. Still alive, its ground breathes in slow motion, swelling and sinking with magma pulses. It last erupted 640,000 years ago, and it will erupt again, Toba, Indonesia. 74,000 years ago, it released 2,800 cubic kilometers of ash. Global temperatures plummeted. Some scientists believe humanity's population nearly collapsed. Krakatoa, 1883. An explosion heard 3,000 miles away. The sky turned dark. Tsunamis killed tens of thousands. And the Gackle Ridge beneath the Arctic. One million years ago, it unleashed a submarine eruption so vast it reshaped the ocean floor. Each of these events reshaped history, but Apalaki dwarfs them in scale. So if those giants still breathe, why not Apalaki? For a long dead caldera to awaken, four ingredients are needed. First, pockets of molten rock must remain. If Apolaki's chamber is fully frozen, the story ends there. Second, fresh heat must arrive, a mantle plume rising from the deep, or an unusually hot slab edge feeding magma upward. Third, tectonic stress must crack open new pathways. And in 2025, we've seen just how powerful those stresses can be. And finally, water. Apolaki sits entirely underwater. If magma meets seawater, the result is cataclysmic. Krakatoa proved that in 1883, and it was tiny compared to Apalaki. Imagine magma surging upward, boiling seawater into superheated steam, explosions powerful enough to shatter the ocean itself. If Apalaki stirred, the ocean wouldn't protect us. It could amplify the disaster. So, is there any sign this could happen? 
At Yellowstone, instruments detect constant rumblings. At Apalaki, silence. No swarms of quakes, no uplift, no heat anomalies. Most experts believe Apalaki is extinct, its chamber frozen solid. Its fiery age ended tens of millions of years ago. But here's the danger. Apalaki lies in international waters. No seismic arrays sit above it. No satellites track its subtle shifts. Almost no monitoring at all. If changes were happening beneath the Philippine Sea, would humanity even notice before it was too late? Let's imagine the unthinkable. If Apalaki erupted again, the scale would depend on the magma. If it were basaltic, we'd see enormous lava floods, slow, relentless, altering the seafloor, disrupting ocean currents, killing marine ecosystems for centuries. But if the magma evolved into silica-rich forms, explosions, ash clouds, tsunamis radiating across the Pacific, sulfur dioxide would darken skies, global cooling could last years, crops would fail, economies could collapse. Even if only a fraction of Apalaki's original volume erupted, it could rival the largest disasters in Earth's history. So could humanity survive? Maybe. But civilization as we know it would never be the same. So, should we worry? Probably not. Apalaki shows no signs of life. Its magma chamber is likely sealed and frozen. But its existence is a reminder. Earth has created giants before. It will create them again. The Pacific Plate keeps moving west. The Ring of Fire keeps breaking and burning. Volcanoes like Yellowstone still breathe. Apalaki may sleep forever, but the forces that built it, the same forces shaping our planet right now, are far from finished. So, is the world's largest caldera truly extinct? Most likely, yes. But its silence whispers of Earth's power, and the possibility, however remote, that such giants could one day rise again. If this journey into Earth's hidden supervolcanoes intrigued you, make sure to like, share, and subscribe because in our next episode, we'll explore how submarine volcanoes could change the climate and life on Earth forever.